Guys, the word of the Lord today is your ideal downfall. The ideal downfall. For many of you right now, if it has not come somewhere down the line, or you may be in the making of what? Developing your ideal downfall. What does that mean? It's this person that's going to come wrapped in everything that you would consider to be the ideal man or the ideal woman, the ideal business proposition, the ideal opportunity to get your book going. But guess what? It's another ruse from the enemy. But mostly what I hear God saying, during these times of shifting and changing, there's gonna come a person in your life that's going to seem to be the ideal man or woman. They are the ideal man or woman, but they're in fact the ideal downfall. They will have everything that you find attractive, everything that you find promising, everything that you find to be the best fit for you. Well, you may ask me, how is this a downfall if they have everything that I want? Well, because they're coming when you're in a relationship with someone else. They're coming at a time that, listen, you're married, you have a wife. And now this man or woman is coming to your life and is providing and showing you everything that you've ever dreamed of. God is not going to send you a side piece. God is not going to send you anything that's going to cause you to cheat and go astray. And let's say you are single. God is not going to send you anybody that's going to cause you to step out of the will of God and to step into sin to step into fornication. They will seem ideal. They're going to look it. They're going to sound it. And everyone's going to sing the praises. Say, girl, where are you ever going to find a man like this? They're going to be saying, man, she's bad. This the one right here. But look at the timing. And look at the circumstances around it. This person, this individual is causing you to want to compromise. This person causes you to spend less time in the word of God. This person causes you to spend more time on the phone with them and less time in prayer. This person believes in God. They go to church. They do a lot of different things. But guess what? They're not truly following the things of God. They do believe and feel like, listen, we can sleep together. We can all right, well, we don't sleep together, but there's nothing wrong with having sexual conversation. It is your ideal downfall because this person is going to have everything that you've ever wanted. And on top of it, my brothers and sisters in Christ, they're going to be in the church. They're going to be in great positions. It has to be right. This person is a man or woman of God. It has to be right. This person is, you know, they, they have the gift of tongues. It has to be right. They do so well in this ministry. No. It's the ideal downfall. Anything that pulls you from God. Anything that causes you to compromise on the laws of God. Anything. Anything that seems ideal. That causes you to have to compromise your walk with him, it's the ideal downfall. It's not the real thing. Wait on the real thing, my brothers and sisters.